Okay, Al, it's, um, it's episode three, and we're going to try and keep it to 20 minutes again. And uh, it's another CRM review, and this time it's salesforce.com. And hey, we're doing it a lot better this time too, by the way. Uh, we're using Microsoft Expression Encoder. It's free um, and uh, uh, going to be a heck of a lot better than us using live meeting to record something. Hopefully the quality will be a lot better. Yeah, hopefully we'll get rid of some of the lag too. Yeah, hope so. And we show a mouse now. Yes, which is nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, hey, so I'll, I'll jump us. Yeah, I'll jump us over. Okay. Seamless. Seamless. So you'll have to tell me now, this is completely new to me. I, I don't even have a clue what I'm looking at. Okay. The mouse takes a little while to move around there, Al. It, uh, okay, so we're looking at the, the dashboard page or the home page of uh, salesforce.com. Ah, uh, and it, hey, right away I'm seeing the menu bar is identical to Sugar CRM. Absolutely. Yeah, so I was so used to my Microsoft world of everything down that left nav that when we initially did Sugar, I thought, oh, that's odd. Why across the top? But. It's interesting, interesting that I think you'll find there are a few similarities here between Salesforce.com and Sugar CRM. Uh, okay, okay. So hey, we're going to keep it to 20 minutes. And so w one of the things we were saying is, um, well, what did we do last time? We I guess we looked at we looked at opportunities, companies, contacts. We did. How to import? How to quickly modify a sales? Um, drop down, like modify the opportunity mm -hmm. pipeline drop down. We did. For the import. Um, and that was essentially it, wasn't it? Well, let's see how much of that we can get through. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on the account so we should get a list of right. accounts. So again, it's this typical thing where I click on accounts and I get a list view. Well, yes and no, you do, but you get this interim screen with, um, uh, with Salesforce.com. Okay. So then we get a list of views that we could look at. Now with Sugar, we went straight to the view and we had an option of what view we would look at as the default, yeah. but we went straight to the view. And in, in, in Microsoft CRM, we went right to the view and then there's a drop down to choose which view. There's a default view, but a drop sure. down which is, here we have to choose which view we yeah, want to Yeah, we've at. kind of got a default view, which is my accounts, but we've just created a login into this system, as you know, and uh, we oh, haven't got okay. any, so let's have a look at active account. Okay. Yeah, now we did just register for this all of a few minutes ago, and so we haven't done any setup. So essentially we're doing some setup here, aren't we? <laughs> oh wow, see, now that's running a report. Let's go back. Okay. Let's do that again. <laughs> that was reports. <laughs> see here how this uh, is reports on accounts that okay, we were Okay, that's a bit at. confusing. Okay, let's yeah, well, go. I, I was confused. Hey. Yeah. Well, well I don't think we're going to have Far be it from us to see, click active, okay, there's reports of active accounts. Now, maybe it's just not showing any because we just don't have any. Uh, uh, well, that, that's probably the case. So I'll click that. We've got, oh, okay. There you go. Oh, there's so a couple of d dummy data things in there. Okay. And now this is typically what I've expected to have seen. You click accounts, it jumps straight to the view. I have a drop down of the view. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, so we've we've got this. Um, we, we can also see here where we can create a new view if this wasn't good enough. Right. But, you know, if it hasn't got the columns that you wanted in it. Ah, and I see there you have a print button in the top right. So I could... I could print it, uh, so creating a report this way and, uh, and, yeah. and print it out. Yeah. Okay, which is an easy way for a small company, not many people, not much time, quick way for them to do a report is they'll do it that way. Absolutely. Okay. And I think you'll also notice the, um, we've got the edit and the delete buttons here as well. Okay. And I think when we have a look at this record, we'll see the other the similarities between Salesforce and Sugar. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so what you can see there is is we've got the same idea as Sugar CRM, which is a, a tidied up web form that you can't edit, but you need to press the edit button for. Okay. Now, why did they do not screw the edit mode on this thing? I, I guess that um, it helps um, validation of data, so a user can't just uh, mistakenly and change a field value. Okay. You don't notice in, but also right. it kind of tidies things up. Okay. So I'm guessing that if you press the edit button, you're going to get the usual kind of view that we used to. Right. Which you do. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. And, in, and it, so that's the same as Sugar CRM, but in Microsoft CRM, you're directly in this view right away. Yeah, and in Pivotal CRM, you're directly in this view right away too. Okay, yeah. And I know in Siebel, it's the same thing. You're directly in that view right away. Yeah. Okay. So that's accounts. Okay. And then how would I look at contacts associated with this account? Okay, <laughs> so... Um, Ah, okay. So they're all going to be on the same page. Anything that's associated with this account record is going to be on right. this page. So unlike, unlike that, this is very much like Sugar CRM, yes. where it's one long form yes. with related records below it. Yes. But that's different than um, Microsoft CRM, where I would be choosing an option in my left-hand navigation to say related accounts, and then in that top level it would change the screen to related accounts. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So it means scrolling, but it's not so bad, is it? It's not that. It's not yeah, the end of the world. So Unless, bad. of course, there was 300 contacts associated <laughs> with yeah. this account. It might be a little more painful then. Which but, happens, yeah. Yeah, it does happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why don't we jump to a, a contact record? Okay, let's just jump directly to the edit of the contact record. It's okay. It's kind of cool that they put that button up on the front screen there. So it jumps right in edit mode as opposed to yeah. that, that, that view where it was tidied yeah. up. So okay. if you really do want to edit and you know you want to edit, you can get there without the extra click. Right, right, right. Okay. And again, standard kind of feel, so you've seen yeah. the contacts. Now Very we jump to the other systems, right? We jump to this from the from the company record or the account the account record. Now I see they're calling a company an account, just like Microsoft CRM does. Uh, Sugar, I think they called it a, a company. Mm -hmm. um, I understand why they do that, but I also can see why why bother doing that. So if I'm uh, if we go back up to the top again here, where I can see that my top level menu bar. Um, if I was, if you were to click contacts, we've got a list view for contacts too. Again, I guess. Yes. Yeah, we'll have the same same list view as we get everywhere else. Okay. And hopefully, we know how to use this now. And now, when we say go, and then we click go. I suspect you won't get any because we don't have any contacts. This is that saying, are my. These ones yeah, that are my. This is saying list me all my contacts. Contacts. Right. Well, the dummy data is it? It's associated uh, okay. the dummy data to yeah, me, I guess. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So we get a view like that, and again, we can ex we can. Um, well, we don't. I don't see export here. No, I don't see an export there. Either. I don't see export, so we're not exporting to Excel, uh, but we can print it out as a report. I do see that. Yes. And okay. Uh, presumably, you can set the report to to go to an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, and opportunities. Why don't we take a look at opportunities? Okay. And again, we go see to if our we've got any closing this month? <laughs> Hopefully, there's some data in there for us to look at. No, but let's create a new opportunity. Well, we'll take a look at all opportunities. See if they've got some data in there for us. <laughs> Okay, they have got some in there. And let's open one up. And again, it's this clean view. We can export. Mm -hmm. um, I can give the opportunity a name. It's associated to a company. Uh, I've got a sales stage. I've got a probability. I can throw in an amount. I can associate it to a marketing campaign I'm seeing there. Yeah, we've got a, this is kind of a cool little feature. So we've got, um, we can see the stage history by ho hovering. Ah, uh, so we can follow it through time to see when it moved through the, yeah, sure. through the ranks. These oh, are all okay. things that are linked to the opportunity, but you can put them up here up front.